All right, it's time for another one. We got my man Beam over here with his G37 again. So instead of the Resolute, we're gonna do some lowering springs, some tying lowering springs. So it should take it down, about, what is it, an inch? Uh, two inches rear, 1.5 in the front. Oh, dude, it's a calculated uh, measurement. So this is what it looks like sitting now. Hopefully it'll be a big deal, but you know, it's not gonna bring it down to where they're hugging the, the fenders but it'll still look good. Yeah, a nice practical ride. A nice practical ride. At least that's what he calls practical. Also, also it's out. Dude. And then we're doing a little maintenance repair over here. Dude, look at this. Take a look at some board. That's a little short. We're changing the whole space around here. Trying to make it look good. We got this painted wall like Jake got the other day. Somebody was here over here. I don't know who it was, but somebody was. So first things first, got the wheel off. And then what we gotta do is get this strut out first. You got a bolt hole in here that's holding the bottom of the strut. Got this little bracket here, pull that off. And then there's gonna be three bolts up top in the engine compartment. That one you can see right here. Then we'll bolt it off, it'll come down. Then we just gotta swap the springs. So, should be pretty quick, but you know, all four, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Oh. So, the back one's a hell of a lot easier. It's totally different, it's not actually a strut, it's a spring by itself where it sits in the cup there. So you basically just drop this off of here, swing this down, and then get that spring out from there, and then just replace it that way. So we'll make quick work of this back one. This is out of pin removal 101. Dude, classic. Did you work? We got the brains behind the operation already over here. We got his henchman, Jake Salva. Beam? Fucking call me that already. It's apprentice. What, a henchman? Awesome. Yeah, Put your nuts with your bolts so you remember where they go. How they combine. Let that right up. <clears throat> There it is. It's not me about the twizzle top. How about the twizzle cool. top, Ari? That's a twizzle top. <laughs> Gotta take the whole thing. Oh, we got Jake back. Yeah, you know, all I found out there was like four huge patches. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Four huge cat shits. Where? Outside. Oh. <laughs> Underneath the, uh, the shit classic. Stop it, Beam. <laughs> I love it. Okay, <laughs> This is what people want to see. Wait, this is all you do. You gotta give people what they want. Such tragedy right away. Saying no, but the people keep telling me yes. Say it again, brother. Say it again, but slower. One. <laughs> checked all the drawers, checked outside, check underneath. He lost his jewel, he dropped it, then there was. <laughs> it's right here, people. We lost him. Wow. Yeah. Lost a very important tool to our success. Dude, why do they wrap this thing around like this? This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. They literally wrap the, the brake line around the knuckle. Yeah. Alright, why is it important to always have a short bungee cord handy? Dude. In case you gotta tie somebody, I mean, in case you gotta tie something up, you can do that. Whoa! <laughs> we got zip ties. We got Mickey's. We got. Dude, there you go. Look at that. Jippy J, what's up, buddy? I just need some. Nothing, dude. I can't find this thing. This one's not in there. Because he has the same ones, basically, but ours is gold. Yeah. Follow me on Instagram. It'd really be nice if I had that tool that he lost yesterday, you know? But good thing this one works. Big 
can go. All right, so let's get this. Air hammer this nut axle out a little more. Other than that, we're free to go, ready to rock. There it so is. So rusty in there. Now just what work this? We uh, want get a ten and bust this speed sensor off. I went about this all wrong, buddy. I'm just too anxious. I want to get it out. I want to see this thing glow. Cool. Speed density sensor. It's been... All right, go talk to her real quick before this. she walks in. It's like, who the fuck are these Italians? <laughs> Tangled up in the hoses and. Oh, careful. Alright. One down. No, we're not down yet. We just got it out. <laughs> this style has a seat for yeah, the end of the spring and a seat where on the bottom. Pocket. Look. Got seats on there. Yeah. The seats at the end and then the bottom seats there. Yeah, I hear you. And they're right above each other. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. That's your visual. But for any other application, a lot of times you gotta make sure you clock the top correctly to the bottom, otherwise it won't fit in the car correctly and then you'll be struggling for God knows how long trying to figure out where it goes on. But this one's easy where everything's lined up. The pocket. Thanks, Dave. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, where the pocket sits on this one, you can see the spring starts here and it also starts there. So they line up together, so that's the way we'll be able to put it back real simply. There it is. There it is. There's the top, buddy. Things I want to say, but I ain't going to do it. <laughs> okay, and just don't forget the ring, guys. I've seen people forget them before. Well, this one's stuck on there. Some of them are removable, and I've seen people not put them back on, and then it creates a lot of banging and clanging. Don't do that. So check it out. So like I was saying earlier, it actually doesn't work out. With the original spring, the pockets line up where the spring sits, but with this one, see how the coil's over here and then the other one's over here where it sits? So in order for this thing to line up correctly, we have to clock the rubber a little bit so that they actually line up correctly. So you gotta pull so they'll the, sit in the car. Out. So we had to pull the bottom off, and this has little grooves, pull it apart, that it sits in on the mount. See the screws here. Yeah, and so then we can turn it so that the actual, uh, so the actual mount will sit up in the car correctly. Because if we went and assembled it the same way we did before, it wouldn't go in and then we'd have a bunch of issues and have to pull back out and pull it apart. There you go. Okay, come on. So I messed up people, don't do what I do if you're gonna do this. So the way this brake line routes is it comes out, down off, down here. Kinda hard to see with everything I got hanging out. But the hard line comes down here and it actually routes around the back of the strut and then the little block bolts to here. And if you don't make sure that that's around the back side and going around the strut when you put the strut in, then you either gotta pull the whole strut out or take the line off the caliper and route it back around so it actually has a correct routing so it can mount to the original spots. So, don't do that. We're gonna do it right on the other side, but hey, you know, live and learn. You actually see what I'm doing? <laughs> Cause I can't see what I can't I'm doing. I can't see what I'm doing, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this side's a, or the backs are a lot easier on this one because instead of all strut and everything, we got the spring just sitting in this perch here. And really all we have to do is pull this bolt out and then swing it down. But obviously we don't want to just pull it out with the spring tension, it's gonna fly off. We're gonna have a bad time otherwise. So I'm gonna hold it up with this jack. 
so that I can release the bolt and then pull it out gently and then slowly let it down and then just put the spring back in. So here we go. Now we'll reuse these little rubbers. Put Always them. reuse your rubbers. Always, yeah. <laughs> Just remember to reuse your rubbers. Match up the same way. See how the top has the coil flattened and the bottom has a, they were spaced away from the bottom coil. So I'll just make sure they're back in the same way. And same thing with the fronts, where you wanna make sure that your spring is in that rubber where it sits. And it also has a little seat in the bottom of this too, that looks identical. So you gotta make sure they sit in there flat. Otherwise, it will probably bounce around, cause a bunch of issues and possibly break some stuff that you don't wanna break. So, we don't want that. A good way to do it is if you get it in there, just keep spinning it this way until it hits. Although it's wanting to slide out of the pocket there, so. All right. The front lily takes 100 times as long, okay. Yeah, pretty much. The only thing that's a little challenging going back is getting the holes to line up so they will actually hole go in. Not too difficult. Anyway. There we are. That's one side done in about 10 minutes. We're officially done, people. We're gonna lay her down and see what she looks like. Oh, it looks good! Damn. Oh, I'm liking it. Hold on. Now, one thing you always do, guys, when you're done putting it off, you gotta set the suspension because it still kind of hangs up a little bit. So you want to squat it down a little bit so it actually sits at right away. Totally different than when it came in here. Really squats down nice. All right, so now we've been driving this thing around for a little bit with these lowering springs. The thing looks sweet, by the way, other than the lights being so sweet. Kind of get the look of it now that it's kind of squatted down the way it looks. Pretty sweet. Bean, what do you think about it, though? Uh, it turned out very well. The only uh, concern I had going into it, I knew obviously anytime you lower it, you're gonna get a little more road feel to it. But uh, just driving around regular roads, uh, still smooth as it ever was. Uh, you notice the bumps a little bit more, but you know, you're going low, you know what to expect. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely wanna, you know, you, you do one thing and you wanna do more shit, so. Wheels coming next. Ooh. Uh, who knows what's after that? I'm sure once I do the wheels, I'll have another idea by then. So, what kind of wheels are you thinking? Uh, definitely getting a little bit bigger. I feel like it'll fill it out a little bit nicer. And then uh, once the tires are done, get a little low profile. Yeah, and that'll always look sweet, kind of with a bigger tire on it. Get it looking pretty. Bigger wheel. Yeah. Hell yeah, and I agree with him as well as far as the ride. Because if you're just driving along the road, it's still really smooth. I mean, you hit a bump, you definitely notice how uh, stiffer it is, but other than that, it's a pretty damn smooth ride, so hell yeah, successful. Now there's more to come, can't wait to see. Later!